Hi, I'm Neil Vinnie Kirk. We're in the studio today, and with me I have Franklin Elliott, musician, actor. I also have the Profoto A10, which offers a few refinements over the awesome Profoto A1. We're going to head out and have some fun and see where our creativity takes us. So we have Franklin here in this elevator. The idea here is we're going to have the Profoto A10 behind him. I'm going to pop some mist, some fog, through a fog machine. I can control it through this little controller. And then the handy thing is, with the Profoto app on my phone, I can not only control the power, I can control how wide the beam spreads. So that's kind of handy. Instead of me having to run around and set the flash up behind him, I can do it all from my phone. So obviously, big, big yeah. move, big dramatic big movements. Movement. Totally. Super exaggerated. Okay, let's do a test shot and see if it's coming together. Okay, Franklin, hit us with something. Yeah. Looking slightly cool. We need... It's going to have to be in profile because you're silhouetted. Mm -hmm. So obviously a big movement to the side, but gotcha. it is looking okay. cool. Okay, let's do something. This looks good so far, but I think yeah. we need to dump a lot more light behind you to like really blow out. For sure. I need to crank the juice up a bit more of the flash. Okay. The results so far look pretty good. I would like a little more juice from the flash. I need to blow, I need it to blow out a little bit more. Now I've been controlling the power of the flash from the app on my phone, on the ground next to me. Oh, I like that big gesture, that looked good. Hit me again. Nice. Okay, I think this looks really good. It's dynamic, it's exciting. Sweet. As the place there is filling up with more and more fog, more and more smoke, yeah. it's really expanding, it looks good. Absolutely. I'm going to add a gel to it to just give it a bit very pronounced color. So to counteract the effect of the gel, I'm just going to ramp this up by another stop. That should more or less cover it. The hands up, out, big sweeps. Oh, sorry, I missed that. Hit me yeah. again. Oh, you need to see this. <laughs> That's sick. Wow, that's so cool. Uh, what I would like is yeah. your face a little more in profile. Yes. Even though it might not feel natural for the pose, yeah. in the photograph we need the actual profile because your face is just slightly turned too in too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I do like that dynamic arm awesome. sweep. Everything looks very cool. Great. We could even try one where you pull the neck up and the head yeah, back. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I didn't think about that. We have unfortunately air conditioning here. It seems to be effective taking away, blowing away the fog that we're building up. Okay, let's roll. I do love the results we're getting here. It looks otherworldly. It looks like it's somewhere on a stage. It really looks fantastic. I think it really suits the rock star vibe that we're going after. The, I think it's close to perfect. The only thing we could play around with now, in my opinion, is add a different gel. Get different colors there, just for a different effect. So with the rose pink filter in place, let's crank out the fog machine and build up some fog again. The big sweep. Yeah. You might well wonder why I'm changing the gels. 
when I could have just changed the color and post since there's only the one color. The difference comes in when I'm adding a second light source as in I want to bounce flash to add more light on him and have a colored background. Now with a specific tone, the skin tones that I have to correct for in post or have correct in post, that fixes the background color. Now it is either turquoise or pink or whatever gel I put on. I can't just change it in post. And for that, I'm going to use an A1 on the camera as a bounce flash, and I'm going to control it with a flag. Now Profero has this very nifty little bounce card they add, with the idea that you flip it the other way around so the white is in on this side, so you can bounce your light around, bounce the light forward. I am, however, using it as a flag. And if you're familiar with the black foamy thing, this is exactly it. I'm not using the white side. I'm using the black side inside because I want to flag my light and control how I bounce the flash. So I'm going to bounce my flash off the metallic part here to get light in on his face as he's doing his Guitar Hero thing. Let's make it work. So instead of the TTL controller on the camera, I put an A1 on the camera to act as the controller. I'm not disabling this flash's output. I do want this flash to give me some output. To keep the output of the background flash consistent, I'm going to be shooting in manual flash. For that, I'll have to do a few test shots of my main light on him and control the power to give me correct exposure. I don't want the background flash to be TTL and the exposure vary depending on my composition. I want it fixed. Same exposure every time. So I'm going to do a few test shots. And what I found is at 100, 125 ISO, I'm really not getting enough light bouncing off the metallic panel here. I need to bump up my ISO considerably. And with that, I have to pull down my background flash exposure. So to me, it looks like I'm about two stops under here. So I'm going to go to, let's say, 640 ISO for the settings we have, keeping it at F4. And with that, I'm going to pull the background exposure down by two and a third. We, we can change the background exposure by two and a thirds ding, 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 back of the flash here, or I can just change the background flash's exposure by scrolling here. So that should do it. That should be very similar. So another test exposure too before we bring out the smoke. We've got nice exposure on him. Skin tones look good. I am in daylight white balance, as it should be. The met metal is kind of neutral. Good exposure. We still got a lot of residual fog there, so that looks good. So let's start and roll out a little more juice from the fog machine. I think I have my settings pretty much dialed in, so we're just waiting for enough fog again to build up to be dramatic. And there we go, let's do it. Let's see, that looks amazing. Give me big movements, big dramatic gestures, cool. Okay, great. The light looks good, however, because it's bouncing in a very small area, it's yeah. less dramatic than right. would have been ideal, but that does look good, I think. That looks pretty cool, yeah. So the bounce flash is a very easy fix to add light, so instead of adding off-camera lighting, we just bounce here and that creates off-camera lighting of sorts, giving us beautiful light. Less control than a grid at softbox would have been, but for a quick fix, this works. It does look good, but we do lose a lot of the drama because bounce flash, bouncing of a larger area does soften the light. But again, as I said, it's a very good quick fix. But let's change it up. Let's bring in a grid. So what I like about these magnets, you just pop one off, pop the next one on, and it sticks. So we've added the grid. With the A10 in the background, and I'm reverting back to an A1 here, for my main light, I'm now using the TTL controller on my camera again. Now to control the spread of light, I put a grid on to just have enough light on his face and the rest of the body starts falling progressively more and more into shade. I think the grid is a little too high. I'm going to just move it a little bit, drop it. That's the thing with a grid. You have to be very specific about your positioning. There you go. Cool, cool, cool. And I want to shoot wider.
For the second part of the setup, we have a change of clothes, a change of guitar, sexy boots, and we're going to change the lighting setup a little bit. I have the Profoto 810. I'm going to bounce it against the silver wall here, and it's going to spill around and hopefully blow out and give this surreal turquoise glow around our subject. Okay, I'm setting it up here in the center of the elevator. Franklin, if I can have you stand on this side with this flight behind you, you're going to face me over there. For a first test shot, I'm just going to stay at the settings we had for the previous setup. It looks good, interesting. However, I need to get rid of this cross beam. And it looks to me like the power level is a little low. I'm just going to crank it up a bit. We were at 5.6. I'm going to crank it up to 9, power level 9, close to full power output. Drop my ISO a little bit to 400. F4, shutter speed is meaningless right now, and let's see, oh, very ethereal glow behind. It's really blowing out. So I'm going to have to edit out, retouch the tripod, the light stand's feet, but this looks really fantastic. Oh, I like that low crouching shot, and I can come in from a real low. Super cool. Oh, I like it. It looks like we're down in some subterranean tunnel. Head, head back. This segment came together pretty fast, primarily because we didn't have to deal with a fog machine. We didn't have to wait for enough fog to build up. And the lighting setup is very simple. It's just a flash blasting into the elevator. And it looked good. The gel made an absolute massive difference in creating a very surreal look. And there is no correct exposure here. That's the thing to keep in mind. Because we're not exposing this, we're not exposing for this wall for a certain tonal level. I just wanted to blow out. I just want to look amazing. For that, it's, you just look at the back of your camera and go, hell yeah, this looks amazing. A10 does what Profeta does best. It's a simple, reliable light. The added feature of being able to control it from your phone, that's nice. Oh, before I forget, here's a handy feature. You can take a photo off on your phone through the app using the flash. Let's do that. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's go in. We go camera. We have the camera and we can change the exposure, the ISO setting primarily, and crank it up to level 9 on the flash. Oh, we are back in action. So with our faster shutter speed, lower ISO, the ugly fluorescent light is not registering, it is just the flash. And with the gel it looks super cool. Let's go in for some details. Hold that pose, hold that pose. It is more than somewhat epic. I think we have it. I think that is most excellent yeah. for an iPhone yeah, shot. There you go, a handy little add-on, nice little feature. I would still use my proper camera though, but it's nice to have. You can take a photo off with your phone using the Pro Photo Flash like you could with a B10 as well. Nice. For this very simple portrait with the iPhone, I can control my exposure here, the amount of juice I pump out of my flash. I can also change my shutter speed and my ISO. Now, Building, taking my shutter speed up, 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 I kill the ambient light. I get rid of the ugly fluorescent light here and I can just make it this. So you don't get the mix between the white balance of this and the flash. So I'm going to take it to, let's say, ISO 200. Shutter speed, let's keep it at 200. And the flash, power level, 
Five. Let's see if that's a good guess. The ISO down. Get all in one hand with the app, and we can take the power level down as well. So this is nice if you are addicted to your phone. I would still use my proper camera though. But if you want to shoot directly on your phone using professional lighting equipment, this is it. It works very well. You've got all the controls you need with your thumb here on your phone.